five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. Uh, today is Tuesday night for us, Wednesday morning for you guys. So you guys know what that means. Bible study. Um, as you guys know, last week I wasn't able to do the Wednesday night Bible study. I was really upset um, where we were at. There was the internet wasn't fast enough to upload and man um that was hard you know not it was hard to keep my composure for that one man i was really upset you know so i'm really looking forward to tonight for bible study um we're gonna do a short devotional today sharon is already asleep um uh it's been a, a rough day um sharon finally had her follow-up appointment with the doctor ever since her her primary doctor ever since the for the hospital visit so that's a good thing you know um <clears throat> but the last few days she's been like almost feeling that feeling again of what happened when everything went went paralyzed so um she had a lo- whole list of questions we had a whole list of questions for the doctor and um so He did give her some medicine that would uh, hopefully help, you know. I mean, I, 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 you know, when it comes to medication, you know what I mean? Um, Me and her try to educate ourselves as much as possible. I know some doctors just try to throw medication at you. Um, I don't think he was doing that, actually. I think what he gave her um, is something that was helping her, and she had ran out. And uh, so this last few days, she's been feeling it. So um, she's she slept a lot today, a lot, and I just let her sleep. As you know, um, also I wasn't feeling so good still. I mean, this this thing has been rough, man, and I feel like a broken record to be honest with you. And I'm almost like getting tired of saying it's been a rough day, or it, you know. But the fact the fact is the fact is that um, it this this thing we went through, man, really really wore us down you know and uh i was just telling a few people that i was really surprised to be honest with you Uh, i have a really strong immune system i'm a strong guy i don't get sick if i do get sick it's like boom i bounce back within 24 hours so i almost feel like sucker punched you know i was very surprised that um that this thing hit me so hard and and um but it is what it is you know and we're just trying to cope with it trying to relax which as you guys know is really hard because we're always on the go and you guys have said this all the time many of you that have been following us have said this man you guys don't stop you know whether it's the the church or i was painting or releasing publishing books or i mean all kinds of stuff guys so it's not an easy thing to literally just sit on the couch or lay in bed and rest it's it's harder than what it sounds and i i know i mean we're just humans right we're we're just like anybody else but when you're so used to constantly you know being involved and doing things and then just it comes to a screeching halt you know so anyways i've been talking way too long about it but um you know, our, our we had a really bad situation here in Stockton. Um, I'm not sure. I have no idea who watches news, how far news goes, if people even care. You know, so I, I'm not sure. Let me know. But today, which was um, Tuesday, you know, for us, um, an officer was killed this morning, yesterday morning for you guys. And, uh, man, it was a really bad situation, you know, and, um, I didn't, I didn't know the officer, but it was literally where it happened. I want to say about maybe seven minutes away from here, uh, maybe six. And, um, I don't know if you guys know anything about Stockton or not, man, but Stockton has always been like the wild west. It's just the way it is, you know, and it's the way it's always been. Matter of fact, it used to be worse, you know. It used to be really worse, honestly, in the 80s 
in the 90s. Um, but nevertheless, it, it, it didn't get that much better. There's always shootings, there's always murders, there's always things that happen, you know. And fortunately, an officer at 10 o'clock this morning um, was called to a domestic dispute. Somebody had called, there was a woman screaming, she was bloody. Officer went, and um, whoever was in the house, the guy, whatever, just straight shot him and killed the officer. And Man, you know... Um, it's sad, you know, especially just finding out that I didn't know this, but the Victory Outreach here in Stockton, I guess the pastor there um, had baptized this officer's baby. This ba this officer had a seven-month-old child and um, not baptized. I'm sorry. It's late, guys. So um, um, dedicated, dedicated the baby um, at the Victory Outreach, you know, I didn't know that. I saw his post because I'm friends with the pastor of Victory Outreach <clears throat> here in Stockton. And, um, man, you know, just his, his wife was an, is an officer here too. Um, the city hall was full of officers, which is like two minutes away from my house. Um, when they were coming back from Sharon, from taking Sharon to see her doctor, um, I, this was, uh, we came back into town and there was a whole bunch of officers right there. I guess they're ready to do a press release and man, it's just a bad situation. It was just really hit home, you know, and it's just ugly, you know, um, I, man, that sounded so cliche. Of course it hits home, you know, and, and this, this city that I live in, man, it, it's, it's something else. It's something else, you know, and uh, just another another senseless thing. And so anyways, what happened was another officer came and uh, the man went back. There was a shootout happened after the guy shot the officer. And then um, the second officer came and had a shootout. The guy ran in the house, came back out with an eight year old child and started choking the child. And uh, I think it says that I'm just going by what the news says, you know, uh, maybe in the next days, more information will come out. Maybe I'm, I'll be off on some of the things. I'm just telling you what what I do know. Uh, a neighbor, somebody tackled the man, tackled the kid away or something. And then the officer shot the guy that was that killed the officer and was choking the eight year old boy. So, you know, there's. <laughs> And then, you know, finding out, you know, seeing everything that's going on in Israel, you know, and all the bombing that's happening over there, it's just like, man, you know, Sharon had been sleeping most of the day, so when she woke up, I'm like telling her about this officer, and we're watching it on YouTube, and then Israel, and it's just like, wow, you know, and we just sat here, and we were, we, we were watching, you know, the news, and we just started praying praying for the, the officer's family, you know, his wife, his, his children, you know, for the Stockton police station, for the city, for the community here. And I told her, I was like, man, this is either going to, you know, um, for, for Stockton being such uh, the type of city that it is, that it is, um, it's, it's, a, it's a strong community too. And I told her, I said, this is either going to bring division or bring unity with the community. Um, you know, I know a lot of other cities around the United States, um, they're really against the police and hate the police. And you would think in a city like this, with so much murder and gangs, you would think people would hate the police, but but they don't. It, it's kind of a weird thing, but they, they don't. Nobody, people that I know especially those that came out of, you know, like my culture. Um, I grew up in a different generation, you know what I mean? It's like police were there to arrest us, but you didn't get mad at them. They're just doing their job, you know? How can you get mad for them arresting you if you're the one gangbanging, if you're the one selling dope, if you're the one? So I was raised a little bit different is that... Um, 
they just do their job, man. I mean, yeah, you would get some that would abuse that power once in a while, but honestly, for the most part, they're just doing their job, you know? And uh, so I know I'm probably rambling on, man, but it was just a hard situation, you know, when, when something like that happens that would just, I mean, the guy gets up to go to work, not realizing he never coming home, you know, and <coughs> and that goes for everybody. That goes even non police officers. Whatever it is you do, I mean, you don't know. The other day on Sunday, uh, we had uh, ordered some food, so and that's when Sharon wasn't really feeling good, and I, she, of course, I wasn't gonna have her cook nothing. There's no way she could. I couldn't cook nothing, so we ordered something, and I left to go get it. And instead of driving through the streets, because it was two exits away, I said, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get there faster by getting on the freeway. You know, so I jumped on the freeway and it was at a halt because there was some shooting, you know, and um, somebody, it looked like, again, I didn't even look up the news, honestly, to see what happened. I, I'll tell you what I saw. <clears throat> I saw a bunch of officers running around with AR-15s or some kind of rifles. I'm guessing they're AR-15s. So obviously, whoever shot the person that the paramedics were working on right there in the freeway, they had somebody laid out right there, and I think he was alive still because they were working on him, and a bunch of officers had all the traffic stopped, and they're running down the freeways and stuff looking for whoever caused this, you know? And, um, you know, all I could do was just sit there like 10 minutes and then until they finally let us go. Um, and I know I don't talk about it much, man, but this is the city I live in, <laughs> you know? And it's like, um, I grew up in Tracy, which is 20 minutes away, uh, but I live here now, you know? And this has always been known to, um, it's just, it's just a crazy city. It can be, you know? And it's just sad, man. It's just sad. And like I said, I don't mean to ramble on. Um, it is a little late, and um, I want to render this and, and get to bed, but I, I I need to get some rest myself. I'm looking forward to Bible study, though, tonight, guys. 7 o'clock, we're going to start the book of Titus, you know, and uh, really excited about it. Um, I think we're going to grow from it and learn from it, you know, and um, I, I've been getting some of your messages about you being interested in uh, some college courses and Bible, Bible college courses and things like that. Um, when I had said that, the last few days have been a little rough. I wasn't feeling too great, so I haven't really, really. But what I want to do is if you were a person that were interested, can you re, re let me know or re comment or however it is that you got at me? Uh, because the last few days have been kind of weird for me. So I, I don't want to miss anyone so if you're one of the people that said man you know what i'm interested in knowing a little bit more how can i go deeper <coughs> um please if that was you um and i'm gonna go back and see that but i don't want anyone to fall through the cracks or miss anyone you know um i'm just a human you know what i mean sometimes sometimes you know I, I don't catch every single comment or every single email or every single message or whatever it is and I try you know but um I'm I'm just I'm just me you know and uh so please let me know um I think that's about it guys um you know apologize I didn't have a bible verse but I do look forward to seeing you all finally for Wednesday night bible study which is tonight for you guys uh it's you want to be there because we're starting off a new study. And uh, hopefully you'll see there's the only time we can be interactive for the most part. Because even though we're live on Sunday, I'm preaching. So I, I'm not really interacting with anyone. And these devotionals, I pre-record them and set them to release at 3 o'clock in the morning. That way the people on the East Coast can get it where they live. You know, when they get up at 6 in the morning. Um but the only time you could really be interactive with me is on Wednesday. And I look forward to it because it's, all, it's the one chance I get to really, if you have a statement or a question or something, you know, um, I, can, I can address it. 
Also, last, last, last thing I want to say is this, <clears throat> is this Sunday, we're celebrating our 10 years as House of Rest Church. And guys, I, I, I never thought I would reach this point, you know, and all I'm asking is this, and I said it in a previous video, and I'm going to say it again, if I have me or Sharon, if we have ever encouraged you, lifted your spirits, taught you something you never would have known, if we have ever helped in any way, um, the way you can give back is to come to celebrate with us, whether in person, if you're local, or online. You know, you know what's gonna, what's a big deal to me, and maybe it's a dumb thing to to want. Maybe it probably is. It's a silly thing. But we have never, we have never had a uh, hundred people watching our Sunday service. It's and and it was crazy because it's it's like a month or two ago. It was like ninety eight. Something like that. I don't know. You guys know more than I do because I'm always the one preaching. But it would be really special if all of you, for this Sunday, if you're far, to go online. And if it hits that 100, man, I'm going to be so excited. That's a dumb thing to want. You know, I, I get it. You know, but uh, I get excited at simple things sometimes. And if you are local, come through. If we have ever encouraged you, helped you, spoken life into you, then please come and, and celebrate with us. This is a big deal. Ten years. Ten years of serving, serving the Lord and serving you guys by, by giving you the best teachings that I could, that I'm capable of. You know, and it would be awesome for you to just be a part of that. I would love that. Sharon would love that. You know, and um, I hope you can join us, whether online or in person. So, all right, guys, I, I yapped long enough. God bless you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. And uh, please join us for Bible study, 7 o'clock California time on Wednesday night, every single Wednesday. So, all right, guys. God bless.